Well, Daisy, what identification helper are we making for the humans today? Yeah, some woodpeckers of the DMZ, including how to tell a hairy woodpecker from a downy woodpecker. Okay, but why are there woodpeckers in the Department of Motor Vehicles? No, no, no. DMV, the DC, Maryland, and Virginia area. Ah, that makes more sense. And what is this, our third video now? Yes, it is. And hello, human people. Wow, Ko is a biologist, yet he has us two, a gorgeous groundhog, and a tiny, itty-bitty chipmunk making his wildlife videos. I'm not that small. And Koa isn't even in the DMV right now. He's off in Wisconsin or something researching fishes. Well, Koa has captured video of the seven woodpeckers of the DMV for us to see, so we're back at more flying dinosaurs, except woodpeckers have some super serious issues. What are you talking about? Woodpeckers are always banging their heads on trees in some twisted form of self-punishment. Like, seriously, we get it. You had a bad day. No need to bang your head on things. What? That's not why they do it. Whatever, just play the bumper. Dong! I just can't help myself, that's so great. You better only use Koa's notes this time. Fine, Daisy, I will use Koa's notes. Give me a break. So here we have a northern flicker with that distinct spotted breast. Here on the east coast, we only get the yellow-shafted northern flicker subspecies group. The red-shafted subspecies group is westerly. Yellow coloration is found on the undersides of the flight feathers of the yellow-shafted flickers. Daisy, show them a photo. See, yellow. Wow, that dude is chatty. The back of this species is a tannish gray with black barring. And there he goes with that self-punishment, banging his head on the tree. No, no, no. He was drumming. Drumming? Is he in a woodpecker rock band or something? Drumming is for marking territory and communication. Marking territory and communication. Right on. So he is like tweeting to everyone in the woods. What's tweeting? I don't know. I, I just know it's a thing people do to communicate. Anyways, you've already noticed this subspecies has a very cool red nape. Looks like a V on this dude. The males have that black whisker mark, while the females do not have that black marking. So, in Coe's notes, it says that there are two subspecies of the northern flicker that have overlapping ranges in our area. The northern yellow-shafted flicker and the southeastern yellow-shafted flicker. The two subspecies are essentially identical in coloration and patterning, but differ in size. The northern yellow-shafted flicker is larger, but here near the range overlap, it can be impractical to ID them to a subspecies level, as they also often interbreed. Alright, next pecker, please. Ah, the smallest and most commonly seen woodpecker around the DMV, the downy woodpecker. And wow, she is really punishing herself, banging her head on that tree branch. It's not self-punishment. Okay, jeez, Daisy. I was just messing with you on that one. Take it easy. She's looking for insects to eat. For real? She's looking for insects as food in a tree branch? Yes, you are terrible at this. I should be the narrator. You can't be the narrator. Nobody understands the words from your squeaky little voice. It's not that squeaky. Uh, yeah, it's pretty squeaky. So, uh, anyways, is this one looking for food too? Yeah, she's eating termites. Termites. Yum. <laughs> Look at that northern cardinal crashing the shot. Sheesh, that woodpecker probably has to eat a hundred of those just to get a good meal. Pretty much. <laughs> Look, there's a termite running away. Run, little guy, before she sees you. Oh, and it's easy to tell the lady downy woodpeckers from the fellas, as the males will have a patch of red on the back of the head, and the females won't have that red. All right, Daisy, go to the hairy woodpecker. This species looks very much like a downy woodpecker, but once... You've seen enough hairy peckers, it's easy to identify them. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, I, I've seen plenty of hairy peckers in my day. What's got you giggling all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, nothing. Continue. I, I will continue. You're being weird. Anyways, just like with the downy woodpecker, the females don't have red on the head, and the males do. And Daisy, let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons against the downy. Okie dokie. So the hairy woodpecker is a larger species than the downy woodpecker. So a hairy woodpecker is usually like the size of two of daisy, or two eastern chipmunks, and a downy is usually only a bit bigger than a chipmunk. Also, the hairy woodpecker has a longer bill relative to the head size, while the downy has a shorter bill relative to the head size. And finally, just to be super sure, just look for black spots on the tail feathers. Hairy woodpeckers do not have these spots, and downy woodpeckers do have the black spots. Sometimes you'll see these two species foraging together and the size difference is ever so apparent. 
All right, the red-bellied woodpecker. That doesn't really have that red of a belly. Ah, <laughs> Daisy, rewind and pause on the jumper there. See, it's just like a poof of red on the belly. The head is really the most outstanding red part of the body, but there is already a woodpecker called the red-headed woodpecker that we will get to. The backside of a red-bellied woodpecker has a distinct black and white striped pattern. That makes me dizzy staring at it. Oh my goodness. This one is surfing the branches and the wind is just not helping me focus. Daisy, please go to a still comparison of a male and female. Um, Cohen doesn't have footage of a female. How does Cohen not have footage of a female? Alright, well, wildlife photographer Ed Haas said we could use some of his images. Nice guy. So males have a red head. The crown and the nape are red. While the females only really have the fully red nape and the crown remains white. I think we got it. Let's move along. Didn't we already cover a pileated woodpecker in our first episode? Yeah, but we must include it. Ah, true. The pileated woodpecker is the largest woodpecker species in the DMV, about the same size as a crow. The large size and the super cool red mohawk are the easiest features to examine for distinguishing this species from the other woodpeckers around here. Also, that solid black back is a distinguishing feature. The males have a red whisker, while that marking is black on the females. This dude has some serious itches. He's preening. I don't think I could preen 50 feet up in a tree. I don't think you've ever taken a bath in your life. I, I don't have to respond to that. There's some great footage of Pileated in that first episode we did, but let's go to number six. Oh, count yourself fortunate to see a red-headed woodpecker in the urban and even suburban areas. Koa has only captured one on video in Northern Virginia. As you can see, it has a dark red head. So compared to the red-bellied woodpecker, you can see the color of red is much different, and the red-headed woodpecker's head is covered in that red. Hey Daisy, does Koa have a shot of its back? Nope. It's okay, Koa gave me his password to buy some stock images. Let's see, just toss them up as I send them to you. Okie dokie. So the backside of a red-headed woodpecker is split with a white bottom and black top. Next photo, here we see they have a poof of yellowish orange on the belly, and the juveniles won't yet have that red head quite yet. Okay, next photo. And here we have a gorilla having a great time. That's not even a woodpecker. All right, next photo. And here we have an amazingly captivating storyteller. Those are likely your distant cousins, Daisy. Why are you buying these? Hey, he gave me his password. Just go to the next one. Ah, now that looks like true love right there. Koa is going to fire us. Koa wouldn't fire us. We work for free. Just one more. Fine, only one. And that's Koa as a boy. Is it really? <laughs> no, but I had you thinking it was Koa for a moment. Okay, let's move to the last woodpecker. Alright, the yellow-bellied sapsucker. And indeed, this guy has a bunch of sap wells that he is tapping. All those holes in the tree that he and other woodpeckers have drilled. He's going for the sugary sap and any insects he finds along the way. Yellow-bellied sapsuckers do usually have a pale whitish to yellow belly. And this guy is drumming, not tapping sap wells. Wow, you learned something. Hey, I, I pay attention sometimes. The crown is red on both sexes, as well as the distinct white shoulder mark. But we know this is a male because of the red throat. Females will not have that red on the throat. Toss up some more of Ed's photos for a better comparison. Okie dokie. I'll have Daisy throw down the link to Ed's free to view wildlife gallery in uh, the video description. He has hundreds of photos of our local woodpeckers and thousands of great photos of other local wildlife. It's just a great gallery. All right, so share this video with your human friends if they need help with woodpecker identification or they just want to listen to a gorgeous groundhog. And assuming Koa doesn't fire us, we'll probably be back. Bye, human people. Spread some knowledge, beat nature heroic.